Hey y'all, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a PR package from Rosalind to share with you guys. This is a beautiful set of polishes. There are 10. Uh, this is a 10 piece collection. Here are the ingredients. Please feel free to pause if you need to. It does say that they are seven free. And, oh, I thought they had their, oh, well, here's their website. This uh, collection came to me from, this is a set sold on Amazon. So you can for sure pick up this beautiful set. Oh, God, look, look, already just beauteousness. As always, Rosalind uh, does include their little sort of how-to little usage guide in all of their collections. They have a little bit of question and answer and there's their website again. I thought they had their Soch uh, somewhere on here. Nope, but they are on, I'll put their Soch uh, somewhere up here on the screen. I know they're on YouTube, they're on Instagram. I think they're on the Tickies, uh, what else? the Facebooks, the whole thing. I, okay, I, I'm already obsessed. So one thing that I will say, according to the little packing slip that came with this package, it does say that they are reflective gels, but I don't really know. I don't really know. One thing that I do want to do is get these out and just let them sit upright for a few minutes before I start opening these bad boys because um, they can get kind of messy when you just take a gel, a thick gel that has been laying down and you immediately open it. Like air just creates kind of a mess when you try to put your brush back down in there. So give me a couple of moments and I will be right back. All right, so let me start off by saying, well, first of all, let me apologize. My nails are a hot mess. My skin is so freaking dry. Ugh. Welcome to Michigan, but I'm about to go on vacation, so I will be redoing all of this. But of course, I wanted to get this swatch video uploaded for you guys. The other thing that I want to mention is this is not a numerical collection. 10-piece set. I do have my flash on, so hopefully I will be able to capture if this is a reflective and not just a glitter collection. I'll know. I'll know immediately. We have a pinky <laughs> like a rose gold up. Look at these bottles. Okay, the first thing I noticed when I opened the box the first time, the bottles, I don't think I've seen shimmery gel bottles. Uh, maybe I have. I'm, I'm fairly certain I would have remembered seeing a bottle so yummy and delicious. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Two of these... <laughs> will be stunning for Christmas. Spoiler alert. All right, guys, sit tight. And then at the very end, I'll be showing y'all a little something, a little something, something. Sit tight. All right, so I know my nails are looking trashy, but this is a reflective polish that I'm wearing. And it's also a multi-chrome. So I can really tell that this is a reflective there you go. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> my nails are chipped. My cuticles are terrible. I don't really get that from this. I get, of course, chunky hollow glitter, but let's see what this is all about. Okay. I'll do this one live with you guys. Definitely a chunky glitter mix. Larger hexes. There's like a finer, uh, there are smaller hexes as well as like a fine um, a square in this mix. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, mm. I'm just looking at this from a maker perspective and the reflective glitters that I own that I have made polish with like in this one, uh, I don't know. This may be hard to tell, but still, gorge, holy poop. Again, you could do 
a super thin layer uh, and use this as a topper. Yeah, so the silver may be a little bit hard to tell if it is actually reflective and not just chunky hollow. Man, sorry, my allergies are going nuts so. But I think uh, the farther I get along in these swatches, you know, especially with the dark colors, maybe I'll be able to tell a little bit better. So this was C040. So here are all of them. I only did one coat of everything. And I will say pretty much the consensus is out. Not all of them are reflective glitters, but also most of them are in a clear base. So I am gonna put these to the side and just gr grab you know a few at a time because my hand is starting to cramp up. Ooh, it's starting to cramp up, you guys. The silver is in a clear base. The gold is in a tinted base. I'm looking at them through my camera as well as with my eyeballs down here. Absolutely freaking beautiful. Just stunning. We're going to move into the pinkies and the purplies here or the lavender. I, I'm pretty sure this one is reflective. It is reflective. It's also in a tinted base. The rose gold sort of chunky glitter here, y'all can see. It is not, it is not in a tinted base. Um, beautiful, stunning, stunning. 
stunning. Is it reflective? Still kind of hard for me to tell. I think the, the larger, chunkier hex glitters are sort of taken over. Like, that's really all my eyeballs can focus on. But this one, yep, reflective. Love, love, love that. Oh, it's so pretty. Yes, look, look at it. So balls. This bad boy, let me tell y'all. This thing is thangin'. It is in a tinted base. And it glows the most crazy bright coral color when it's in the lamp. It's hysterical. That thing, it's bright, you guys. It's bright. So, again, tinted base. One coat, of course. Oh, my goodness. And I, I believe that this one is also um, has that reflective glitter in it. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know. I think I'm just seeing hollow in that. And the sort of turquoise, chunky glitter, just um, clear base. Not a tinted base at all, at all. But those hollow glitters are stunning. And there may be some little scattered reflectives in that one as well. And then we're gonna show these two next. This is just beautiful. No hollow and no reflective glitter, just metallic. Just shiny metallic glitter in there. Yeah, that's not reflective. Unless they're colored reflective glitter because they do have those as well. And I own a bunch of those, but they tend to bleed like the, the colored reflective glitters tend to bleed in suspension base, but I don't know how they behave in gel base because I never did that. Uh, again, bl uh, purple, I almost said blue. Purple, not a tinted base. This is, of course, in a clear base. And I'm not seeing any reflective glitters in here as well. Just metallic. Metallic purple. And now, if y'all want to talk about... Christmas, Christmas colors, <laughs> beautiful Christmas glitters. Let's get into this red and green, honey. And some of these are so densely packed with that glitter mix, it's crazy. I mean, of course I can see, you know, some bald spots over here with the red, but this was one coat of the green and it's actually, hold on. Is it tinted? Hold on. The red is in a clear, is in a clear base. Sorry, I hope I don't sound snotty. Uh, no, this is just so very densely packed. This is also, this is also in a clear base because I have a little bit of a bald spot over here in the upper left. So, I mean, that's how fully, fully packed these gels are stunning gorgeous i love every single one of these but i will not say that or i cannot say just from my naked eyeball and of course i didn't manufacture these but i can't say definitively that yes they're all reflective glitters do i care no are they amazing and beautiful yes they are very reflective in the sense that they are bouncing light everywhere, but not in the sense of a reflective. Like this, the reflective glitter in here is just silver. And this is also loaded with silver reflective glitter, but the hollow too. The hollow goes crazy when the light hits it. Okay, so that's going to do it for all my swatches. Before I forget, let me just go ahead and thank Rosalind for sending this 10-piece collection over to me to swatch and review for y'all. Absolutely gorgeous. Not a dud in the bunch. Y'all know I say that all the time. But I'm really impressed with Rosalind's formulas, y'all. And I have been for several, several, several months now. Y'all know I've been doing PR for Rosalind for quite a while. Of course, I have a discount code for you guys. 
please follow the link in the description box below. So thank y'all so much for tuning in. Now sit tight and I'm gonna do just a little bit of something something with some of these beautiful colors, a little bit of nail art, a little bit of, I don't know, just, I don't know yet, so sit tight. All right, you guys, so I've done all of my prep, but I have decided to go with these two for this hand. As stated previously, I believe, I'm about to leave for vacation. I, and I chopped all my nails back too. This is gonna be a vacation for my nails as well. So I've just done a simple base coat. I'm going to do a little, uh, kind of a Skittle, I don't know. I may, do four, I may do four nails, one color and have one accent. I may do my thumb a different color, I don't know. But these were the two that I chose. And again, we have 197 and 106. So it was these two. So here we go. So that's it you guys as you can tell i got my manny done my vacation manny it looks so beautiful and sparkly and zhuzhy and this is two coats on all fingers plus a glossy top coat i've had so much fun with these nails down here in central florida which by the way as you probably have noticed the sounds of the resort life have uh, gotten us through, gotten us through uh, a lot of my most recent videos now that I think about it. I also did my right hand. Y'all, I never paint my right hand. Never, never, ever. But I thought, you know what? Let's just do it. So it's been fun sitting out here on the balcony with all my little sparklies. So again, thank you to Rosalind. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Again, click the link in the description box below copy the discount code save y'all 10 percent if y'all stuck around this long the keyword is sparkly the keyword is sparkly and i will see y'all in my next one bye